In Rogue One, we saw that the surface of Jeddah contained what appeared to be an ancient statue that was reduced to ruins. On first appearance, it would seem that these ruins are clearly connected to the Jedi Order, depicting a member of the Order itself. Given that the statue appears to portray an individual in robes carrying a lightsaber, it's hard to fathom that the ruins on Jeddah are not connected to the Jedi Order in some manner. But this would ignore the important ancient history of Jeddah and the hundreds of force-based religious faiths that were native to the Midrim moon, thereby creating a very strong possibility that the ruins were connected not to the Jedi, but to another one of these religions. In this video expose, I will explain the history of Jeddah and describe the evidence that demonstrates that the ruins on the moon are connected to the Jedi Order and why they are not. Outside of the clear visual evidence connecting the ruins on Jeddah to the Jedi, the accepted history of the moon also points to the Jedi as being the most likely connection to the ruins. There's no doubt that the Jedi Order and Jeddah were closely associated with each other, with the history of the Jedi being intertwined with Jeddah. The moon was a spiritual home for the Jedi, so much so that many galactic scholars believe that Jeddah received its name due to its close relationship with the Order. In fact, it was widely speculated that it was the origin point of the Order, with the Jedi having built their first temple on the moon. With such strong connections between the moon and the Jedi, it's difficult to conclude that the ruins on Jeddah are not connected to the Jedi Order. But to quickly accept the connection between the ruins and the Jedi would be to ignore the fact that hundreds of other force-based religions were associated with the moon, as well as the scholarship that existed that believed Jeddah strongly influenced the Jedi Order, rather than the other way around. Jeddah's vast history is demonstrated through its ancient structures, which are some of the oldest architectural feats in the entire galaxy. Importantly, these structures and edifices located on the moon have connections not only to the Jedi Order, but to dozens of ancient faiths and force-based religions. An excerpt from the archives of the Order of the Esoteric Pulsar, a force-based religious organization that attempted to perceive the mystical field of energy known as the Force, demonstrates just how prevalent different faiths were connected to Jeddah. In a text entitled, Faith and the Force of the Others, an unknown author wrote, Now ask, where is the force of others? And one answer becomes inevitable, the kind and cold moon of Jeddah. For a thousand faiths see truth in Jeddah's mysteries, no matter that their stories differ, no matter that not one history of the Temple of the Khyber can explain each brick in its foundation, or that our legends entwine and part in paradox. I ask you to believe that Jeddah is a nexus for faith, life, and the force of others in all their forms. It's clear that hundreds, if not thousands, of force-based religions were connected to the moon of Jeddah, and not just the Jedi Order. And as accepted by the Order of the Esoteric Pulsar, none of these other faiths had a monopoly on the structures that dotted the landscape of Jeddah. Rather, the moon was a nexus for different faiths that were all connected to the Force. Therefore, it's strongly plausible that the ruins on Jeddah are not overtly connected to the Jedi Order, and instead are connected to one of these other thousands of Force-based religions that form the nexus for faith in the Force on the moon. This becomes even more likely when we remember that there are scholars within the galaxy who believe that the moon heavily influenced the Jedi Order, not the other way around, thereby making it likely that these ancient ruins on Jeddah predated the Jedi Order and influenced their traditions and practices. It must be remembered that the concept of the Force existed in the galaxy for roughly 25,000 years by the time of Rogue One, and while the Jedi Order was the most visible and well-known practitioner of the Force throughout this history, there were hundreds of other schools of study and worship of these concepts that evolved alongside the Jedi on different planets within the galaxy, with Jeddah being a unique home that was connected to a number of these schools and faiths. If we think in these terms, then it isn't as hard to conclude that the ruins on Jeddah are not connected to the Jedi Order, 
but another force-based religion entirely, particularly when we acknowledge the fact that Jeddah was home to one of the first civilizations to explore the force and its nature. The words of the unknown author from the Order of the Esoteric Pulsar should be remembered, where no one school of thought could claim every brick in the foundation of the Temple of the Khyber, meaning the temple was built by numerous faiths. The history of Jeddah should also be seen as having many bricks, wherein the Jedi Order did not have a monopoly on the moon's historical foundation. Accepting this, it's very likely that the ruins on Jeddah are not connected to the Jedi Order, but one of the other hundreds of important force-based religions that were associated with the moon. So there we have it, the evidence for why the ruins on Jeddah are connected to the Jedi Order, and why they're not. But mostly why they're not. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For Toshdor Nee.